Welcome back. Time is 6.54. And we want to get you ready for these top stories as you head out the door on this Wednesday. Seven-year-old girl dead after an ATV crash last night in Marshall County. The Marshall County Coroner's Office says it happened on Brock Road in Boaz. Uh, one adult also taken to the hospital. Right now we are trying to learn more about the cause of that crash and also that adult's condition. The Sergeant McRisner Act, the bill has been stuck in the Senate Judiciary Committee for three weeks, but lawmakers say the bill will be read in a committee later this morning. This would eliminate Alabama's good time law that lets violent offenders out from prison for good behavior. Advisor to the FDA will discuss guidelines for COVID booster shots. They will debate variant specific boosters and whether to expand booster eligibility to people younger than 50. Morgan County hosting a public safety job fair today at noon, looking for firefighters, deputies, dispatchers, and more happening at the Decatur Fire and Police Training Center on Old Highway 31. And Jackson County, parts of County Road 75 will be closed for cross strain work. This is off Highway 72 going towards Bridgeport. Work is expected to last about a week. Sand Mountain Showdown. We expect to learn at 10 o'clock this morning if the weather will let the softball game between Alabama and Jacksonville State happen at the uh, Sand Mountain Park and Amphitheater. That's supposed to happen at 6 o'clock tonight, weather permitting again. Not looking good for them, Carson, right? Yeah, it's going to be a close call. The area of greatest concern, again, in that light red color, let's say from Huntsville, Decatur, eastward, including Sand Mountain, where we have that level 3 risk in effect later on tonight. This is a classic severe weather setup as far as damaging winds and brief tornadoes are concerned. That window opens up around 3 o'clock this afternoon and it'll last through about 10 or 11 tonight. It'll be a 50-50 shot for those storms as you're heading home from work this evening. So just stay weather aware. Seven day forecast shows a big time cool down mm -hmm. once this cold front moves through. 54 Friday, 56 Saturday. Those are high temperatures. And yes, guys, still looking pretty likely we will have a patchy frost Saturday and Sunday morning. But obviously, we got to get through today. We'll have constant updates for you on air and online at waytv.com all day. Mm -hmm. A lot to look out for today. A lot to look Another out for. Aware. It's yeah. spring in Alabama. It is spring in Alabama, Carson. Thank you so much. And thanks for joining us this morning. For 24-7 coverage, you can count on waytv.com. Yeah. Good morning, America. Is up next. Carson and I back in 30 minutes with local news and weather update for you.